Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be installing the wallpaper engine on Linux and getting it working. But first, before we proceed any further, I would like to thank my channel member Mislav. They are a member of the channel, which means they get early access to videos such as this one right here. A little badge next to their, next to their name when they comment on videos. And also a badge next to their name for live streams. So when they comment, everyone else can see that they support me and they shows why... Why don't you? Anyway, let's get into the video. So, the first things first. What is the wallpaper engine? Well, wallpaper engine is this. Um, it's basically the wallpaper engine. It works on Mac and Windows, but not on Linux. So, why don't we get it working on Linux? So, the first thing first, we need to make sure our system is updated. Um, so, we want to update the system. I do realise the screen is flickering. There's unfortunately nothing I can do about that because OBS. So as we can see, our system is fully up to date. What we are going to do is we are going to follow along from someone who's actually made this work and I'm making a video for it. So, first thing, first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have a set number of packages installed. We need to make sure we have OpenGL 2.1 with support for it. CMake, LZ4, Zlib, SDL, FFmpeg, X11 with libxxf f86 vm, xrander, glfw3, glm, glew, glut, free image, mpv, and pulse audio. Now, luckily for us, we can just drop that in with one singular command. I'll then get everything as we can see here lib m unable to locate package so we get rid of the lib mpv1 and then hit yes so my packages may take a bit longer to download than yours will because even though I no longer live in Australia at the moment I still haven't updated my repository list to pull from UK repository lists they still pull from australian repository lists i mean i have decent enough internet speed where it's really not going to bother me so now that we've got that all done and sorted out what we need to do is we need to make a folder so in this case we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to do uh, there we go so now that we are there and now what we want to do is CD desktop. As we can see here, this is just our desktop. What we're going to do is make a directory and let's call it wallpaper. CD wallpaper. Now that we're here, I'll just do that so you can see things a bit better. So now that we're here, we need to... Apparently, we need to extract the assets that we need for wallpaper engine to work. So this is the point where we grab our desktop as we can see here we'll open up wallpaper for now and then we also have our assets for the wallpaper engine because I've already downloaded it and installed it so copy them we will paste them here and now that that's done uh, what we can do uh, is make a new folder called assets because I realized I did that kind of the wrong way around, but that's fine. Assets, and then grab everything, unselect that, move them all into assets. Make sure I spell assets correctly, A-S-S-E-T-S, A-S-S-E. I have not spelled assets correctly. Thank you to the people that are shouting at me for not spelling it correctly. But there we go, there's assets. And now that we've done that, what we now need to do is we need to get to the repository that we need. So. We make sure to see that we're in the right place, which we are. We will do clear. And what we now need to do is git phone https colon slash slash github oops, how about spell github.com slash a l a well a l m a m u slash Linux Linux wallpaper engine.git and there we go 
now that we've had that what we need to do is make sure we have it so cd into there thank you and as we can see we have our cmakes list.txt cmake modules or yada yada everything we have here so the project is built using cmake as build engine so it's fine what we need to do is we need to do make directory build cd into build and then cmake dot dot and as we can see here it's going to go through everything i wish that would disappear because that's annoying oh that's so fun thank you we will just do that no nah, there we go so what this is doing is it's just extracting out the requisite needs downloaded everything it's just creating the make configuration then once we're done is simple as that but again this is very much system dependent on your system as well as your requirements so on and so forth and etc etc whilst you are sat at your computer today or your phone or your google chromecast or your Tizen operating system, make sure you have a drink. Now, in my case, I am having right now a Diet Pepsi, because I like the taste of Diet Pepsi. Right. That's fine. We don't need to worry about that. It's found everything. That's good. We no need to worry. Once that's done, as you may or may not know, if you are a long time viewer of the channel, you know I have 32 cores available to me. So what we will do is now that we can make it, we will do time make minus J30. I can tell. And again, this it builds everything whilst also killing the encoder in the process. But as you can see here, it took a total of 18 seconds. But yes, that was such a strain on my system that the encoder died. Uh, I love having software encoders, not hardware. There we go. But now that's done, we need to make sure that the assets folder is in the same fault as the executable. So if we look here, and then we should have, we'll just uh, do that. We should have our dot slash Linux wallpaper engine somewhere. Uh, build. I said we should there we go so there is our thing and what we should do is grab this go back to there and then paste that in there because as requested we should make sure remember the assets folder has to be in the same folder as the executable is what it says which we've now done now we can run this in the background uh, running a background from steam is the title part um the software can automatically detect subscribe backgrounds and so on and so forth to actually use a background we need to know the workshop id so first things first we go to the workshop and then i will just search for one i've actually previously installed because i like the ones that i have so i will just whoops there we go sorry about that uh, we will search for one that I have previously installed. Now, you may recognize it as a as one that I have used as a video thumbnail in the past, which I rather much rather like. You'll have to... Waller, yes. Mm -hmm. So, we'll go with this one. This is a good one. It works. I like it. So... To actually use the background, we need to know the workshop's ID, which in this case it is. Well, it is that, should I say? But that is the wallpaper ID. And then what we want to do uh, to actually use the background, you need to make sure you need to know the workshop's ID. This can be attained by right clicking anywhere and then copying page URL. 
And you can paste this anywhere and it will look something like... Hang on, let me just... It'll look something like that, is what it will look like. Thank you. Um, where, as we can see, uh, the where the number here is the wallpaper ID, we can run the, we can run the wallpaper engine using that ID. So to do that, what we want to do is make that disappear, please and thank you. And what we want to do is do in the build. So ls ed build, and as we can see that wallpaper ID. So we do dot slash Linux wallpaper engine. And in my case, what we want to do is we just want to make sure we get the ID correctly. So 268-4002423. Enter. And in the process, uh, kill Firefox. Thank you, Firefox. So... I'm just making sure that it's not running somewhere. Hmm. But that would be how to do it. So I've obviously set something up wrong, but that is how you would do it. So we will once again make sure that I have everything correct and go from there. So again, what we want to do is wallpaper engine. And then we want to do two, eight, well, two, six, Eight four zero zero two through two four two three. Open GL error. EGL not initialized. Could not create. I think so. I have I have set this up wrong. This is absolutely a failure on my behalf. But as we can see here, uh, Angel display could not create a background. So this is something that I've done wrong. But if we've done it right, that'd be cool. Um, we can also run in a window by default. And by default, the app will, the program will load backgrounds in a window so you can actually preview them. It, uh, go. So, by default, the app will load back um, in the background in backgrounds in a window so we can preview them. So, in this case, we will just do dot slash Linux wallpaper and then slash home slash Nick. Uh, and then we find the backgrounds path. So in my case, what we want to do is we want to grab our backgrounds. One second, find them. Would help if I knew where the backgrounds were. Apparently, it's in a folder called development. Uh, we'll find a background in a minute. But what we can do is the background also, we can, another way we can do it is running as a screen's background. So in this case, we just do expander. <laughs> uh, hello, sorry about that. Um, so I realized that the reason why this isn't working is because for some reason, OpenGL isn't working. So that is most certainly an issue on my behalf, but if you have system, if you have OpenGL working just fine, you should be able to get everything working fine. But as we can see, could not. Yeah, it can't OpenGL. I don't know why. I broke my system for OpenGL. If you've got OpenGL working fine, you should be fine. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike, hit the dislike or dislike. Uh, they both seem to work. Remember, if you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Don't uh, don't panic when you use Linux, unlike me. That's why my name is Linux Panic and yours isn't. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.